Howdy folks and good morning! Sorry I've been out of commission for a few days. Yeah, I haven't posted anything for the last couple of days. But hey, I'm back. What's up? And there's the beautiful SM4 fully serviced, ready to go for her next trip, which might be coming soon actually. Check it out, Black Wall Diaries. Yeah. Go check out my Instagram and you will be able to see a whole series of uh, hashtag Black Wall Diaries photos. So I got my chair all set up. I got my teh ice, by the way. Since when ah, teh ice four ringgit? Huh? Teh ice bungkus ikat tepi is four ringgit now? How crazy is that? Anyway, I was inspired to make this very quick video of my viewers' beautiful Mazda Lantis. Yes, right next to my Alfetta and in front of uh, um, Thomas's Alpha Sat. The Mazda Lantis. Do you guys remember the Mazda Lantis? I bet you don't remember this about the Mazda Lantis. Check this out. Frameless doors. Frameless doors. Front and rear. Mazda Lantis. Manual 1.6. This car is from the Mars Ford days when Mazda and Ford were in joint venture. And I'll tell you a funny story right now. You see what's behind the Mazda Lantis? Yes, the Punto. The Punto is back here. It's been in Balakong for the last few months. Why has it been in Balakong for the last few months? I'll tell you exactly why in a moment after I tell you about this Mazda Lantis. Well, actually I've already told you about the Mazda Lantis. It's a very, very nice car from the Mars Ford days. Uh, very similar underpinnings to the Ford Laser 1.6 hatchback that I used to have, the liftback that I used to have, which one of my viewers bought. The cousin of this car, or rather the sibling of this car, was the Astina with the pop-up headlights. Yo, pop-up up and down headlights, yeah. Have you ever bought a car just for one specific feature, like how I bought this SM4 because I wanted to feel double wishbone suspension? I would buy a Mazda Astina, the sibling of this car, just because it has a pop-up up and down headlights. Thanks to uh, regulations in pedestrian safety, we won't get pop-up headlights anymore. Yeah, so that's a collector's item right there. Okay, so now onward to the uh, Punto and why it's been out of commission for the last few months. Morning, bro. Hello, hello, hello. So, as you can see, the bonnet's been moved so that they can get to the wiper moto. Yes, one single component has immobilized this car for the last few months we couldn't get a replacement wiper moto wiper moto which you can't even get anymore okay one of the scary things about fiat is that they make model specific parts now as many of you know this car was not made in the fiat factory this car was made in the bertone design house area because it is a Bertone design. Yeah, look up Bertone design. They're quite, they're quite cool. They're like Pinin Farina, but a, like a poor man's Pinin Farina, I guess. We couldn't get the wiper moto for this car. Now, apparently, I don't know how true this is, the wiper moto is model specific for the 1.6 ELX Cabriolet. It is not the same as the Punto HGT. It is not the same as the Punto 1.6 uh, the hatchback. It's different. So we tried to actually even... Uh, what do we call it? Um, modify. Modify a different wiper motor to put it in? Cannot. Because the wiper motor itself is computer controlled. Like, come on. So, three of my cars in one view. There's the uh, 123 Mercedes, my Alfetta, and the Punto. All here. I'm taking up so much space, I feel really, really bad. But uh, hey, Rotex is still valid. It's just that I've not driven this car because, you know, in Malaysia, the rain comes down so quickly. It could be sunny like this at one moment. And the next thing you know, it's pissing down with rain. So there is no way you can drive a car without a properly functioning wiper motor. I didn't even have intermittent or fast or slow. This car has actually got three speeds. Uh, intermittent, fast and slow. Uh, but now... We're on the final legs of finally getting the uh, wiper motor done. Why is the bonnet off? Because I've sent the bonnet to be resprayed. Sadly, the stickers on this car, although on the side panels are all really still good, the direct sunlight on the bonnet, as well as the heat coming up from the, the engine, faded the bonnet very, very badly. So I'm getting the bonnet resprayed. And uh, it's just going to be black, like the whole matching the roof black. Anyway, stay tuned. Lots, lots more to come. As you can see, there's work being done on the Alfetta as well. Uh, front brake pads, rear brake pads, and uh, a full check. That's my beautiful rims. You know, people have actually offered to buy these rims. I said, yeah, 50,000 comes with a free car <laughs> for the rims. And uh, yeah, so upgrades, not upgrades, sorry, maintenance, just regular preventive maintenance and uh, some changes to the wear and tear will be uh, done. I'll tell you a funny story. A lot of people think this is a modification 
this air box? No, this is the original because they are so used to seeing twin Webers or twin Delotos. These are twin Delotos. They are so used to seeing them without this and just the four trumpets sticking out. They think that this is a modification when this is actually original. Even uh, hardcore Alfisti thinking this is a modification because they've only ever seen the trumpets on the carburetors. So what's up with the one, two, three? Well, sadly, after the first round of, uh, of mechanical work, the car is running fine, except I'm feeling quite a bad vibration still coming from the center part of the car, not the back, the back is smooth. The center part, yeah. My butt dyno is telling me that uh, something was wrong and sure enough, I'll show you exactly what the issue is. It's this part of the drive shaft. Can you see the drive shaft? Yeah, that's the drive shaft right in the center there. That round thing, that round cylindrical thing. No, I'm not going to explain about the uh, long shaft couplings anymore, okay? But that drive shaft is not sitting right because the front mounting has gone ajar. Yeah, it's become a, a peanut butter jar. I don't know. It's slightly ajar, so it's causing the drive shaft not to spin on its axis, but rather to rotate like this. Now that, now that, ignore my finger. Anyway, you know what I mean. It's, it's going like this, right? Instead of doing this, it's doing this. Does that, does that make any sense? Right, anyway, so we're getting that done. And uh, apart from that, the car is running really well. We're still, we're still, we still have time. We still have time because the drive is at the end of this month on the 28th of July. But uh, hopefully, hopefully everything will be done by then. Okay, so wow, four car update. SM4, Alfetta. Punto W123. Alrighty, folks, thanks for watching and uh, take care. You and uh, this is oh, that's my hand. Hello, this is my face. <laughs> yeah, take care. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. Lots more to come and uh, I'll keep you posted. Take care, you all. Bye.